Loretta Lynn was a country singer from Kentucky who started performing at local events and eventually became a star, appearing on radio and TV, winning awards, and performing at the Grand Ole Opry. In Wilhelm Agency v. Lynn, the court goes behind the scenes when Lynn and her agency both alleged the other breached their contract. Loretta Lynn moved to Nashville in 1961 and entered into a series of contracts with the Wilhelm Agency. The first two contracts negotiated were for two years and five years. In 1966, Lynn and Wilhelm entered into a contract stating Wilhelm would be Lynn's exclusive agent across radio, TV, recording, and personal appearances worldwide for 20 years. Wilhelm agreed to procure employment for Lynn, negotiate advertising and commercial contracts for her, and counsel her on personal matters. The Wilhelm Agency was a partnership between four brothers. One brother, Teddy Wilburn, worked closely with Lynn for around five years. Lynn liked Teddy and followed his advice. During this time, she became very popular, got a recording contract, toured often, and appeared on TV. Wilhelm handled everything, including Lynn's financing and legal needs. However, Teddy's brother and business partner, Doyle Wilburn, frequently drank heavily and became abusive. Teddy left the agency because of Doyle's behavior. Lynn sought guidance from another representative at Wilhelm named Smiley Wilson. In Teddy's absence, Doyle aligned himself with Lynn's success. However, due to his drunkenness, there were countless incidents of misconduct, including offensive and unprofessional behavior, like insulting the producer of The Johnny Carson Show and black musicians on The David Frost Show, and drunkenly falling off the stage or vomiting during Lynn's appearances. Wilson left Wilhelm in 1970, so Lynn was paired with a new advisor, Leslie Hart. Hart saw how horribly mismanaged Lynn had been and told her to see an attorney. Lynn sought an independent attorney who notified the agency that Wilhelm had breached the contract with Lynn. Wilhelm and Lynn's attorney negotiated, and Lynn was released from the contract. Wilhelm sued Lynn for unpaid fees, claiming she breached the contract. Lynn filed a counterclaim, saying that it was Wilhelm that had breached it and that she had been released from the contract. Wilhelm appealed. The court reversed and remanded the case. The Tennessee Supreme Court granted cert, set aside both judgments, and remanded the case upon finding more evidence had become available. After trial, the court found Wilhelm breached the contract and Lynn had been released from it. But the court didn't award damages and said the amount Wilhelm owed Lynn offset the amount Lynn owed Wilhelm. Wilhelm appealed. 